Well, we're getting into summer, so that means silly season is really beginning to heat up. I got a couple of rumors to go over, and it sounds like one of these could potentially be a done deal within the next week. Hello everyone, my name is Kyle aka Racing Boy Short and this is my channel where I talk NASCAR, NASCAR news and everything NASCAR. If you haven't already, I would appreciate you subscribing to the channel. I do multiple NASCAR videos throughout the week. Also, give me your thoughts on this video. What do you think about these silly season talks and rumors? Plus, give me any improvements I can make on the channel. So we have a couple of rumors that have been talked about for the last week, last couple of days. A couple of these we've kind of gone over a little bit. We have some more information on some of this stuff than we had before. Let's start with the big fish. I started up in the opening saying that one of these rumors could potentially be a done deal within the next week. It's no secret that Chase Briscoe is looking for a ride in 2025 and it's also no secret that it seems like a lot of teams may be interested in briscoe i've mentioned it on the channel before briscoe is a quality race car driver did really well in the xfinity series ever since he's gotten to the cup series Stuart haas has kind of struggled but he does have that win at phoenix i consider him a big team player a great teammate he's just going to help you out in all ways possible whether that's working with drivers at Talladega, Daytona, working together on setups, getting into the shop and working with the team, getting information from them, giving them information. He's really good at that sort of stuff. And then the third reason I think could potentially be the biggest reason why he's attractive to teams, because today in the modern age, it's all about selling sponsorship. Chase Briscoe is a great sponsorship guy. He seems to work pretty close with the sponsors has a pretty decent social media presence plus he's overall just a driver that most people like i wouldn't say a lot of people are big chase briscoe fans but i don't i personally don't know anybody that hates or dislikes chase briscoe he's kind of like martin trex jr there's not very many people that hate or dislike martin trex jr but he's not necessarily one of the most popular guys as well well i've mentioned in previous videos that it sounds like Chase Briscoe will go to the number 21 for Wood Brothers, mainly because Ford really want to hang on to Chase Briscoe. They know that he is a talent and he really helps their manufacturer. And they also know that the 21 is a quality ride and Ford and Penske and Wood Brothers just have not been getting the performance out of that number 21 as they expect. So Chase Briscoe is linked to the 21 for I'd say the last month and a half roughly even before Stuart Haas was announced to be sold it was already sounding like Briscoe could make that jump over to the number 21 car for Wood Brothers then I'd say around two two and a half weeks ago maybe a little bit more we began to hear some whispers about if Martin Truex Jr. decides to retire one of the top if not the top candidate will be Chase Briscoe and honestly, personally, I wrote that off. I wrote that off like, no. Because I personally thought that Truex was going to return. And then if Truex wasn't going to return, I thought Corey Heim or Chandler Smith, one of the younger drivers, jumps up and takes that spot. But first of all, it sounds like, I'm not exactly sure what's happened with Gibbs and Corey Heim. On Door Bumper Clear, they made it seem like there isn't really a relationship or possibly even a bad relationship between Heim and Joe Gibbs Racing, but it also sounds like they don't really want to rebuild a team from, from bottom up. They want to have a quality driver with experience that brings in sponsorship for that ride, and there's not very many options that are in a, con in a contract year. Chase Briscoe could potentially be their very best option for that car. So then you have Martin Truex Jr. retire and then all the talk I've heard the last week since he announced his retirement was that Chase Briscoe is the top candidate for that car. He's most likely to be the driver of the 19 or whatever number they decide to do in 2025. 
Well, then earlier on this week on Door Bumper Clear, we heard this. I'm gonna play. I'm gonna play this little clip. Hearing that potentially this being confirmed, Briscoe making the move to Joe Gibbs Racing. Take a listen. I think everybody's seen the, the rumors of Chase Briscoe's getting into 19. I think you could probably expect an announcement on that in the next week or so. So it sounds like potentially within the next week, we could hear an announcement about Chase Briscoe driving for Joe Gibbs Racing in 2025. So we'll have to see if this actually happens. Chase Briscoe making the move. So let's get to the other two rumors that we have circling in the rumor mill. I talked last week a little bit about there's rumors that Kyle Busch could potentially have that reunion with Joe Gibbs Racing. Well, Kyle Busch was asked this past weekend at Iowa Speedway about this potential reunion, about his potential free agency, and he had he had to say this on the matter. I, I would say there's anything's possible always, you know, certainly that, that uh, if I was welcomed, I would go back. If Hendrick welcomed me back, I would go back, but right now I'm at RCR with my group of guys and um, in, in the deal that I have right now in place. And so we're trying to work and build this program and make RCR great again. And you're back there next year. Correct. RCR. I really feel like Kyle Busch's comments could be misconstrued in a way. I, I get what a lot of people are saying. Oh, this is saying that he wants out at RCR. He's begging for help. Oh, and I personally would agree that I would like to see him leave RCR and go to another team. But I don't think that's what he's saying with these comments. Ultimately, what I think he's saying with these comments, whatever happens, happens. I'm okay with it. I just want to race in a competitive car and win races because I am Kyle Busch. And that that's what I took his quote as. That's what I took his quote as, him saying that. I think he really wants to race for RCR. He really wants to build up this race team. He likes the people that he's working with, it seems like. And then Randall Burnett also had a couple of comments on Sirius XM Radio kind of doubling down on my thoughts about Kyle Busch's comments and his overall time at Richard Childress Racing. And ultimately, it sounds like most likely he's going to be racing for Richard Childress Racing next season in 2025 because, like I said, it's a three-year deal, but that last year is an option year but it sounds like to me from just everything i've heard sounds like it's a team option where the team gets to decide hey do we want to keep kyle bush one more year or do we want to let him go in free agency and if rcr gets the gets the choice i would assume kyle bush returns because kyle bush is way outperforming austin dillon but it's been a difficult time it's been a very difficult season for kyle bush very difficult for me as well kyle bush is my favorite driver and it's been a really really tough season i really hope he can turn it around and ultimately like i said i would love to see him have a reunion with joe gibbs racing i would love to see him have a reunion with hendrick motorsports i would really love to see either one of those things happen but ultimately at least this season it's not very realistic unfortunately and flat out kyle bush needs to go out there and perform if he would even have an opportunity to race for a team like that again. He needs to perform better in his car, and I know it's not all him. It's also the team is struggling as well. But I'd say it's still something to keep your eye on because like Kyle Busch said in the interview, from what I took, he was just saying, I'm fine with it. With whatever happens, happens. And who knows? He might not race for Richard Childress next year, but I'm pretty confident he will because it is ultimately – RC, aka Richard Childress's choice, and he, he he seems pretty fond of Kyle Busch racing one of his cars. Then the last rumor I have to go over, and I'll probably go over this one fairly quickly, quicker than the last two for sure. I briefly went over this in one of my YouTube shorts, and it's been talked about. It has to relate with the Chase Briscoe story, and this is Justin Haley driving the number 21 for Wood Brothers next season. I'm very on and off with this if I believe this rumor or not. I'm kind of flipping sides constantly. I really believed it at first. Then Justin Haley put out that statement. But at the same time, if someone calls him from a better team, is he really actually going to stay? Because we've seen this before from drivers and from race teams that they seem like they're really loyal and they're committed 
to their partner, whether that's the team or the driver. It doesn't really matter. We've seen it from both sides. And then ultimately what it comes down to is either money and or performance. And Rick Ware Racing, is it's no secret. They're not one of the most funded race teams. Rick Ware has a bunch of money, but they're not funded by a lot of sponsorship. They don't have the greatest equipment, even though they are working with RFK. There still is an equipment fall off when it comes from comes to RFK versus Rick Ware Racing. And one thing to also note, Justin Haley has been around for a while, and I think a lot of us have known and seen the talent, the potential that's in Justin Haley. But I would argue right now, today, he has never been more valuable in NASCAR. I think a lot of teams are seeing what he's doing in that number 51 because we've all seen what Rick Ware Racing has done since they've joined the sport. They have done nothing. They have been a 30th place team at best. And I think if you look at the I think if you look at the stats, look at the standings, I think Justin Haley is around 30th in points, but I don't think that standing position really fully judge, judges what their season's been like because Justin Haley has performed, he's been running in the top 15, top 20 on a consistent basis, I'd say the last 7 or 8 maybe even 10 races this season. He's been performing excellent, to say the least. I mentioned very briefly a little bit ago about his comments. I'm, I'm going to actually show you his comments that he made on the situation about is he committed to Rick Ware Racing? Um, super thankful for Rick and everything he's done for me. I'm committed to him and his process. And, and um, whatever Rick wants my future to be, um, you know, if he wants me to say, for five to ten years i'll stay for five to ten years just because he gave me the opportunity when no one else would like i said this is a very good statement and he seems like he's loyal in the moment when it, but what it ultimately comes down to it does justin haley ditch rick ware it could even happen the other way around maybe there's a good up-and-coming driver that has more sponsorship than justin haley because justin haley i consider him like i said a very good prospective talent i think he could be a one of the top drivers in the sport if he gets into the right situation and has the right amount of time. But he does not bring a lot of sponsorship to the table. Who knows? Rick Ware could even ditch Justin Haley. I doubt I doubt that will happen. But who knows? We've seen crazier things in NASCAR. We've seen teams shoot themselves in the foot. We've seen drivers shoot themselves in the foot. Just make the wrong decision. It happens constantly like i said i'm very mixed on believing this rumor i do believe there's talks i do believe that i definitely believe that there is talks between wood brothers justin haley and maybe even rick ware in that manner but i'm not sure i'm not sure if he will go to the 21 or not if you saw my youtube short i was pretty convinced that he's gonna go to the 21 i've just thought about it more and more and it's just Justin Haley doesn't really take me as a driver that's gonna gonna lie, gonna BS you. I don't, I do not see that from Justin Haley. But who who knows? Who knows? He could jump ship. Ultimately, what I think he should do is stay at Rick Ware Racing because they do have that connection, that alliance with RFK. And from what I've heard from Justin Haley and from multiple sources, the way that Justin Haley got on to Rick Ware Racing is that Brad Keselowski had a personal meeting, a personal talk with Justin Haley convincing him to join Rick Ware Racing because Rick Ware Racing has an alliance with RFK, Roush, Fenway, Keselowski Racing. And if he stays at Rick Ware Racing, that means whenever Brad Keselowski and that whole group over at Roush decide to purchase a third charter, get a third race team. Justin Haley should and most likely is first in line to race and race an RFK car. But give me all your thoughts below. What did you think about these silly season rumors? Do you expect an announcement to be made within the next week that Briscoe is racing for Joe Gibbs Racing? Do you expect Kyle Busch to remain at RCR next season? Or do you expect him to maybe make a move? And then when it comes to Justin Haley, does he race for Wood Brothers next year, Rick Ware Racing, or maybe even RFK? 
let me know down below. But that'll do it for me. Thanks for watching. My name is Kyle, aka Racing Boy Short, saying peace.